Hi, everyone. As Andrew already mentioned, my name is Titzola, and I will be talking about the Goa adverbs today. And first, I would like to take you guys through my table of content, um, which is the research methods, questions I asked myself before the elicitation, and types of adverbs according to um, SYNC. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right. And um, like a um, Cambridge um, Dictionary. And examples in Goa, expression that I realized that um, in the English words, there were two different words, but then they were expressed with Gantlai in um, Goa. And then um, the pattern and my observation. And then the conclusion that I came up with and the abbreviation that I used during my presentation and then my references. So first, how did I start? Um, um, like, what was my research methods like? First and foremost, I was given the um, adverbs in Goa. So I started by um, using the um, Sinker's um, book, um, which is Adverbs and Functional Ed. I used that um, to like um, write down the subset of the um, of the adverbs that I wanted to use. And then also I used, um, I watched Nan's great presentation about adverbs in Goa so that I would know the the adverbs that she spoke about, so I would not so that I would not repeat that in my presentation. In case you guys are interested, please watch our YouTube video. It was very very great. And then um, my elicitation with Ezekiel, I um, translating from English to Goa, and then I also realized that back translation was very very important because it also helped me to like get a more specific adverb um, that I required. And yeah, I have the example. Um, he spoke carefully. Um, the first time that I gave him the English sentence, he spoke carefully. He gave me in Akwes Walo. And then um, it was later when I asked him, um, when I did like my back trans um, translation, and I asked him to um, tell me what in Akwes Walo meant in, in, in English. That was when he told me he spoke um, very well, which I then realized, oh, no, I actually do need like a more specific um, adverb or like a more specific way to like, um, translate this and then I asked him again what he, he spoke carefully meant or means and then he gave me um in a questne amagaito and then um then I realized maybe I am kind of satisfied with this because that translates to um he spoke with um vigilance which is kind of um a little bit more specific than um he spoke very well okay so um then I went ahead to um repeat the adverbs the English adverbs in different sentences so that I can be able to figure out easily um, which of them is like the Goa um, adverb because of the reputation. And then I used the Iraq um, dictionary and the lexical reconstruction of West Rift, um, Sultan Kushistic by Roland Kisling, Martin Ma Maus and um, Matakora to um, look for the words that I had during the elicitation and cannot speak correctly. And then with the use of Elan, I used that to transcribe the sentences that were provided by Ezekiel, which is the Goa speaker that um, Andrew already introduced us to. And then I used um, Flex to parse and gloss. Um, uh, yeah, to parse and gloss. So the questions I asked myself before my elicitation um, were or are, are adverbs, um, ad are adverbs always at the beginning of a sentence? If not, where exactly are the adverbs placed, um, adverbs placed in a sentence in Goa? And also, are adverbs in Goa similar to adverbs in English? For example, do they have an adverbial suffix or adverbial pre prefix that turns an adjective into adverbs? Because like in English, we have like the, the um, adverbial suffix, which is the lead that turns um, some adjective into, um, into adverbs. I mean, not all adverbs um, have the... Lee at the end, but yeah. Anyway, so the types of adverbs that I'll be talking about today are um, some of the subsets according to SYNC, evidential adverb, possibility adverb, um, continuative adverb, adverb, and the volitional adverb. And then I have the examples um, that I'll be using um, to, to figure out the adverbs. Um, I have them written on the right side. And then um, I also use um, a very general um, type of adverb, which is the adverbs of manner. So um, example of the ad evidential adverbs that I used, I highlighted them in yellow in English and then in Goa so that um, you can easily follow um, which words that I do think that is the um, Goa um, construction for the English adverbs that I 
had given. So first I had clearly one, which is in which was given um as in a sluk ne kitoa. And then um the, the literal translation is one with is. So it made me conclude that the adverbial construction in English is expressed with a nominal construction in Goa. And then secondly, I add obviously Iran, which is in a team there, alor. And then um, literal translation is Iran with clearness or obvious. Obvious? Okay. So um, it made me conclude that the adverbial construction in English is expressed with a nominal construction in Goa in this case as well. So I then moved on to the example of possibility adverbs. And um, in this case, I have maybe and possibly as my example. So the first um, sentence that I have is maybe is asleep. And I was given the karu igu, which means literally maybe is asleep. And then in this case, also adverbial construction in English is actually expressed with an adverbial um, construction in Goa in this case as well. And then the second example, he possibly left. Iamut, iwatla, iwatle. Um, and then the literally, um, the literal translation is, it is possible that he left. So in this case, I concluded that the um, adverbial construction in English is expressed with a verbal construction in Goa in this case. So moving on to the example of continuative, um, I have um, given um, Ezekiel the sentence in one continuously, and then um, continuously being the example of the continuative adverb in this case, I was given in a commit slukuru, which means literally it continued as for winning. And then in this case, I did decide that, um, or I came to a, a short conclusion that the adverbial construction in English is expressed with a verbal construction in Goa in this case. And then moving on, I have the example of volitional adverbs. Um, um, the, the example for this um, volitional adverb is um, um, deliberately. So I gave um, Ezekiel the sentence, he deliberately lied, in a, and then I was given in a lamut ne furuma, which means um, actually he lied with pride. So in this case, adverbial construction in English is actually expressed with nominal, nominal construction in Goa. So the example, the more general example that I have is um, adverbs of manner. Um, in this case, I used slowly and bravely, so the first one is the boy walked slowly and I was giving gamma in a hit, gamma in a hit, ne tegisa, and um, which literally translates to the boy walked with slowness. And then um, I, I kind of concluded that the adverbial construction in English is expressed with um, nom nominal construction in Goa. And then I also have the second example, which is she spoke bravely. And I was giving in our quest ne pi, and um, this literally translates to she spoke with bravery, and um, yeah, which also leads me to conclude that um, adverbial construction in English in this case is expressed with the nominal construction in Goa as well. So what I also observed was that I gave um, Ezekiel two different adverbs, which is quickly and immediately, and um, I have um I had given Ezekiel he stood up quickly and then I I was given in a sihit negant lie. And it literally translates to is stood with speed. And um secondly, I gave him immediately he went home. And I, I was given in a what in a what a modo negant lie. And um yeah, it means he returned home with speed. So I kind of kind of had to think about this, but then I also like thought like, okay, when you do something immediately or when you do something quickly, you actually like do that with speed or like immediately you do that um, with speed. You go home probably like with speed because you want, you have to leave immediately and then leaving quickly as well. It's like you, you are in a rush. You do that also with the speed. The pattern that I came up with is that, um, or that I observed, is that um, adverbial constructions in English seem to be translated with um, ne, which is a preposition, with or by, and then an a noun in Goa. And also like adverbial constructions in English also seem to appear either at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. And also um, the adverbial constructions, um, the given adverbial constructions that were in English tend to appear immediately after a verb 
if the adverbial construction is at the end of a sentence in Goa. Uh, and I have my example on page 11, which we can see here that the um, construction here, net tegis, I came after like a verb and also here, I have the acquiesce and then um, um, nepi, I also came after like the verb. And also, yeah, you can also observe that here. Um, in a say it, say it, which is the verb. And again, that lie also came after like the verb. And then I also did realize that not all words that exist in English can be translated word for word into Goa. For example, he clearly won. And Ezekiel gave me um, in a slack, ne kitaoa, which means he won with ease, even if um, in Goa, um, the word for Claire is um, girl. He, I tried to like make him say in a slug ne girl, but he didn't want to say that maybe because it's grammatically not correct. But then he insisted on um, saying in a slug ne kitawa. And then my observation, um, why the sentence may contain as the same words arranged differently in English, it does not necessarily mean that the, the same word or the the same words would be used in in the in the Gawa language. For example, I have two uh, two kind of the same um, the same sentences, but the words were arranged differently. I have given um, or I had given Ezekiel obviously Iran and he, he obviously Iran. So um, obviously Iran Ezekiel gave me um, in a team ne alo, and. Um, for the he obviously ran, he gave me um in a team ne alorema. I know one could um, actually argue that alo alo is the same, but then also it just um baffles me that he did not he did not say in a team ne alo for he obviously ran and then he preferred or he chose to say in a team ne alorema for he obviously ran, even if the English um sentences are the same but different um arrangement. So my conclusion, unlike English adverbs, equivalent um, forms in Goa are produced with preposition and a noun, like I've said in almost throughout the presentation, and then um, an adverb. I had like the, hold on, I had the example with an maybe adverb, which is the maybe, um, which is um, the caro igu. And, um, and then the next one I'm going to talk about is the verbal construction, which is the hiyamut, which means um, he possibly left. And then also, um, ne seems to play an important role when it comes to Goa adverbial constructions. It seems to me that um, ne turns nouns into an English adverb. And then the abbreviations that I use, and they are my references. Thank you. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much, uh, Titi Lola. So uh, let's uh, let's take. We have time for for a couple of questions. I think, yeah. So um, I wonder uh, if uh, do we have any questions from the audience? No. I want to know. So if you had another three weeks to continue this research, Titi Lola, what would be the first questions that you'd want to ask uh, Hezekiah? Well, uh, my first question is going to be is. I probably would do like a black, a bla oh, yeah. like a back trans. Yes, yeah. I probably would do a back translation and then um, give him like words without the ner included, uh, and uh. Um, and then um, see if what I came up with is making sense. Right. That um, that ner actually kind of turns the the noun into like um, the. English adverbial construction that I was thinking about, and if it would still um, grammatically be able to translate them without um, the ne. Okay, great, great first uh, first effort. Thoughts or reflections from the uh, the group. I appreciate your efforts at uh, reading and pronouncing the language. Sometimes we can get a little bit far away from yeah. the language when we're analyzing. So I really appreciate you um, pronouncing the words to the best of your ability. I think it's good. Thank you. I hope I did not butcher it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, you saw when you were doing some back translation a few weeks ago. I mean, Hezekiah was understanding what yeah, you were saying. Yeah, he's so quite happy about it. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. smiley. Yeah. No question, I have Zoom. We'll just wait for a second. I don't know if we have any hands. Feel free to raise your hand or unmute yourself if you have a question in the uh, in the um in the chat, or you can put a question in the chat, or um you can yeah you can give a voice question. Mm. Yvonne, I have a small question about this near. This preposition, um, it was always translated as with. Uh, do you have any idea in which other functions it's used in the language? So, um, I mean, apart from these adverbial constituents, uh, do you know where else uh, it is used and uh, with which uh, function? That's the thing. I never had like another sentence where um, near was used. I don't know if the others have that, but I never had like any other sentence that um for me personally i really cannot say in your honest. data yeah, yeah in my data i did not have like any situation where nair was used um differently apart from there but then according to the dictionary that i used and according to the flex data that was provided to us nair was um translated to with or by so but then apart like, from yeah so as an instrument but or, and also as a companion uh yeah, all right. Okay. Yes. Yeah, good. For example, when you're making a passive in in Korwa, for example, this is one of the ways that you can introduce the uh, the the agent. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Um, thank you. Thank you too. Also, I'd like to state that um, I am not everything that I'm saying is just like based on the observation that I've made in the in the few elicitation that I had. So I am sure that maybe there. are probably other ways to like um to like say the sentences but then i would probably have to be in tanzania with the people or like have more elicitation um time with um ezekiah and yeah this is just my observation based on the few elicitation time that i had with ezekiah. Yeah, sure. and of yeah. course oh a question <laughs> yeah, martin martin has his hand up go ahead martin yeah, well, I, I mean, about this uh, near this preposition, uh, just for my interest, is it, uh, I guess it, it's also, it's used without the final consonant uh, in those, I mean, in Iraq, it's used without the final consonant. So, so what is, uh, are the two forms with and with the final, with and without the final consonant, or do you know? Have have you ever seen ne occur on its own in your data, or is it always ner in in the data that you have? Oh, uh, in, in the dictionary that I used, if ne is also. But written. even even in the stuff that Hezekiah gave you, did he ever give you ne on its own, or did he always give you ner for this? He he always said um, ne, but I, I was thinking that's the correct way to write it. Mm -hmm. But then also mm -hmm. I saw like other ways that it could have been written. Um, I saw, like, for example, that was written with N-A, for example. But then I just stuck to one um, way of writing it. So we might want to go back and see if it's nar, maybe. I know that we had a discussion about that in early days, whether this is ner or nar, sometimes hard to hear. Yeah. Um, but there is a final r there. Yeah, I would, I mean, f with my yeah. ear, but sometimes, you know. I would I would also argue that um, it was Nair that was here in though. No, very also, interesting. I just realized that it was your dictionary that I was using. Great dictionary, by the way. <laughs> I was just yeah, like, but there hey. are differences between Gorwa and Iraq. <laughs> yeah, of course, but then, yeah. And this is one of them, so that's why I asked you. Good, uh, yeah. good distinction. Yeah. yeah. And uh, finally, I see I, I see uh, Elena Rotova has written in the chat. Not a question, but a comment. Great work. Great presentation. Well done. And I think that that's a good place to Thank end, you. eh? Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah.